it's sometimes hard to uh, say goodbye to friends uh, but I think we're gonna get going for real this time I got things to deal with I, and I just I just need to go get started with them uh, and that's just that's just that we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and, and leave for real this time uh, I'm just I, I just love uh, spending time out here with my friends and uh, I, I just do so uh, but we got business things to deal with and uh, and stuff <laughs> and, and stuff so we're, we're, we're gonna go ahead and, and get out of here today I really do hate leaving I just do What a great group of people. I didn't even bother cleaning this nasty windshield. It's got bugs on it. It's got dust and droplets. Uh, I think we might be driving in, into some rain when we get over towards the Phoenix area. And uh, a lot of the dust, I think a lot of the dust on the bounder will get a, it'll get a rinse and off anyhow. So I'll deal with it later, what remains. That's it, Bella. Ah, uh, she doesn't know. That, that that she doesn't know. Go on, settle down, girl. Let's settle. Okay. We're just gonna make a quick stop here and pop off the propane tank. The RV pit still good old RV pit stop here on Quartzsite. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm done. We should have plenty of uh well plenty of propane for the trip and then some. But just one of them things we've got a nice full tank. Uh it holds uh, 17, what was it, 17.2 gallons, Bella. And this was actually the most reasonable gas of or uh, propane I've gotten in a while. Where was we at? Just back when we was back in Tucson, we seen it from 4.49 to we went to somewhere else. Scotty and I went to somewhere else and got it for 3.29. This was an even three dollars, three dollars a gallon of propane. So um, that was nice considering we won't be so lucky with gasoline. I'm afraid. <sighs> This is pretty convenient. Uh, they had a dump station back there on the right hand side. So you can get propane and dump. And then these stations up ahead of us are all um, water filling. I don't know. I think they go by the size of your tank. I think, uh, it's five five bucks or at some point there's a cutoff point and then it's so it's ten bucks. That's probably what Betty would be with a hundred gallon tank. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go top the to gas tank off because it's actually cheaper here in Quartzsite area than it was when we came through the Phoenix area. So we're gonna fill it up and uh, probably put in some miles today. I really try to talk myself. Um, I really try to talk myself out of leaving just yet, but you know sometimes when you just know there's things gonna be needing done uh, that are time sensitive and. Uh, you know, just it just works on you. You know, could I put stuff off for a while? Sure. Should I? Probably not. Get back to taking care of some things. Probably tell him feel a little grumbly and cranky today. Oh well. Actually, there's not much price difference here. There's a Chevron station up there on the right. It's three sixty-nine a gallon for uh, regular gasoline. And uh, we're gonna go down here to the Dar uh, the Arco station. It's only three sixty-seven. I'd say only. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's only two cents a gallon. It's hardly worth moving the bounder, you know, ten feet <laughs> uh, for a two two cent difference, but. 
That's right, we're just gonna go down. Just do it. Something I forgot about Arco stations. I've run into this uh, some other ones. I don't know if they all do it or not, but you know, when you use your debit card, they charge you a, a 35 cent transaction fee. So that two dollars that two dollars a gallon that I'm saving just went away <laughs> with that 35 cent transaction fee. Because I've never seen a Chevron charge that. Finally, some rain. <laughs> we haven't seen rain in quite a while. And, you know, it's just nice that the bounder's getting at least, you know, the majority of the dust rinsed off it and off the solar panels on the roof. I know they need, need it cleaned off. Ah. What is that wet stuff falling from the sky, Bella? <laughs> Kind of okay to see some rain for a change, but just for a little bit. <laughs> I'm happy without it. Um, yeah, we were we were already over a little way over in Tucson. That's in the southeast part of Arizona. We were already the whole way over there, and um, I was gonna leave from there, uh, but I chose not to. I I did spend a chunk of money in gasoline come all the way back over to Quartzsite as some roughly 250 miles you know truth is it cost me about a hundred yeah, about hundred and thirty dollars the gas to come over here and you know that much again to come back uh, but I just it's just something I wanted to do you know it's a chunk of change that's for sure but you know I just I just guess I wanted to get another handful of days in uh, you know, with my friends before we leave for the season. I won't see them again until maybe September, give or take, a, you know, give or take a little bit. It might even be later than that. So, you know, can you tell I love my friends? Does it show? Because uh, I do, you know. So maybe I need to, I don't know where we're gonna stop at here. We might just go ahead and get the heck out of Arizona and we have to get up and over some elevation in uh, New Mexico before we get back into West Texas and start getting back down uh, in elevation a little bit to where it's gonna be warmer again. Uh, so I don't know that we're gonna stop and see or do much. I really just don't even feel like it, um, to be honest with you. Uh, unless maybe we stop at a, little taco stand somewhere maybe I get a, a taco to cheer myself up with we've been on the road for about an hour already and uh, stopped it take our first break let Bella out and uh, I don't know if you can see that in the distance it looks, it looks like a well it is it's a big rain cloud it might be coming this way but uh, we're, we're ahead of that one yeah I can let better uh, let Bella have a minute I don't know. We're uh, we're probably just gonna head and uh, aim for the Tucson area. I think today, that's five hours of driving, you know, with a couple of breaks, and then just look at uh, getting up and over New Mexico, maybe tomorrow, leaving early in the morning, and uh, maybe we'll make it. Uh, I'm sure we'll make it to Las Cruces. That's over in a very southeast corner, or uh, maybe to actually get into West Texas not in a, into El Paso. That'd probably be another pretty fair day driving. And it's a long stretch across Texas. But I think once we get there, we're probably just going to start slowing it down, taking it, uh, maybe we'll start sightseeing then. We'll be back uh, down in lower elevation where it's uh, a little warmer at. But I have a feeling, I don't know. Well, I really want to get through New Mexico during, during the day. Uh, if not, there's a stop up in Deming. <sighs> And it's hard to judge how much I feel like driving <laughs> because uh, Deming, uh, New Mexico, that's, it's a good place to stop because there's, there's not a lot along that way, but you know, it's one town that has some, you know, the big stores and, and stuff and it, it's just a good stop point. Uh, but it's cold up there. So there could be, there could be one cold night involved in this uh, getting over to West Texas. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Come on, girl. I know you're dying. <laughs> you just want to do a bunch of sniffing around. Huh? We still got a ways to go to get the get the two back to Tucson even. That's that's five hours of driving, yeah. Uh but with heart breaks. Just go, 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 going. Huh? Come on. Come on, girl. And Betty's running good, running quiet. Come on, girl. Come on. Good old Betty. He's always ready for the job. Alright, I'm gonna get on our way here again. a gallon uh, I guess it's only 374 if you pay cash <laughs> gosh who's, who just pays cash for gasoline anymore we just gonna stop here here uh, real quick and we're gonna get back on our way we are in Phoenix so yeah like I said there before the uh, prices are a little bit cheaper in uh, Woodside area Wow. 
So I say the clouds are coming down and brushing them out. We're still about 30 minutes from the we're, I decided on about uh, this being ended up on the north side of Tucson. So we are on that stretch of uh, Interstate 10 between Phoenix and Tucson. We're going to stop on the north side of town where there's a cracker barrel at. That's where we're gonna hang our hat for tonight. A little ways to go yet. Hey, you know the plus side here is you get a little bit of rain. Uh, it's really enough to really knock the dust down. So the air is gonna be a lot clearer and cleaner. So that's nice, right? <laughs> wow. We have really found ourselves some rain. Uh, it is heavy enough that in the, in the still 15 miles we have to go, but he is getting a good rinsing. It's a generic wash, right? <laughs> you know, after being in the, in, the, in the desert with all the dust for how many months, it's uh, it'll be a generic wash. That's all right, I'm, I'm good with it. What say you, Bella? Huh? What do you think? So it has cooled down. You know, we are getting back up in elevation a little bit. Tucson's back up, I think, around 2,500 feet. So we're up a little bit in elevation uh, in the rain. So the sun's gone. It'll be a cool, damp evening. But that's okay. Betty stays dry inside. We get stopped out, turn the furnace on, and We'll just have a warm, it'll be nice. It'll be nice and comfortable in the bottom tonight. We'll be all right. Okay, who does this? Runs a dash cam at nighttime. <laughs> in the rain, yeah. I think Cracker Barrel is supposed to be Alright, up here along the frontage road. Continue on I-10 frontage road for one and a half miles. Alright, we'll be there in a bit. Almost there. Almost up to the place to lay our head tonight. Wow. Cracker Barrel actually has a road named after. In 800 feet, turn left. This is... This is North Cracker Barrel Road. <laughs> But they share it with the Texas uh, Texas Roadhouse and the Super 8. I almost feel like uh, Cracker Barrel's become. Take the next left, then you will arrive at your destination. Oops. Like Cracker Barrel's become. They should have a saying like uh, no, I think it's Motel 6. It says, "We'll leave the light on for you." <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of how Cracker Barrel is. Uh, looks like all the RV, right. like all the RV spots are full right there. That's okay. There's usually there's usually places to squeeze it in, right? Like right there, or yeah. Uh, uh, it's it is early enough. They're still pretty busy. I think they're open till ten. Yeah, these other spots. Uh, yeah. We're going to swing it around. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner yet. I usually uh, get on Cracker Barrel's website and order it to go and just go in and pick it up. I wonder what I'll have tasty tonight. That's it, I'm done with my phone for my mapping and Google Maps for tonight. We'll, then we'll put that on my little desk. I'm gonna pull Betty's, uh, her night shades. There we go. And then uh, get Bella's side over here. 
I'm Bella. It's night time. It is time to put her in night time mode. Oh, oh. wouldn't help if I pulled the first one over the whole way. That's it. And uh, we got the one more here. Put this down for the night. Good night, everybody. Let's get some lights on in here. It's still pretty comfortable in here. There's my, uh, let's turn the, turn the, uh, harness on. It takes a minute. Sit, Bella. I just heard it kick on. Okay. That's it, Bella. Come here. Come here. That's it. You're probably ready for some water in your dinner. Huh. You got water in your bowl? Nope. You can top that off. Are you waiting on your water? Are you waiting on your water? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, get water. That was a long ride, huh? That was a long ride today. Alright, I'm ready for something too. Alright, I'm I'll mention now uh, here's something I never uh something I never push is uh the stickers. And uh this might be a, a good time to since since I never do. You know, I'm just thinking of this big gas bill because gas is a lot higher now than when I came out. So it's gonna cost me a lot more going back. Um, but you know, stickers, actually the stickers, I, I'll admit, you know, I make $5 on them stickers, you know, between having them made, ha having them made, 50 cent stamp, PayPal gets a cut out of, uh, out of them. Uh, a little percentage they take out, you know, so that leaves me with about five bucks a sticker. So it's, you know, it's it's, it's for raising a couple extra bucks is the purpose of those. And uh, so if you, this would be a good time if you want to uh, get a sticker. I, I still have, uh, I have a good many. I, I do. I have a good many of them. Uh, the, the, the PayPal link is uh, down in the bottom of every video description. So uh, go down in the video description and click on the PayPal link and go. And uh, from time to time, people have round it up you know seven bucks is cool that's good uh, but sometimes I remember like for my birthday one time uh, in Christmas well not one time I mean a couple people long they'll round up and you know so if you want to pitch a little extra in for gas just to be a you know, nice guy or a nice gal uh, feel free to do so um, it's like somebody used the PayPal one time to uh, they sent a, a Christmas some Christmas cash said to Dave and Bella and uh, send a nice little chunk of change for, uh, and said, no, don't worry about the sticker, just we wanted you to, just to do something nice. So. <laughs> but anyway, you know, if you're interested in the sticker, find that link down there and uh, uh, feel free to put in whatever you want and uh, soften the blow. The, I mean, I have it, you know, we certainly get back and I won't be broke. But uh, it's gonna, I'll feel the pinch for sure. Um, so, you know, if you want to help soften the blow a little bit, feel free to grab yourself a sticker. I'll melt them out promptly. Okay. All right, that's that's it. We're going to head towards, see if we can get up and over uh, New Mexico, I think, tomorrow. And um, up and over the cold and back down into the warm. See how that goes. Whew. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Okay. Mm -hmm.